It's huge. It's literally massive on the I inside. think I'm gonna get this right here. Look how clear the water is. There they are. It is raining, and I just got this in the mail. This right here is something I didn't want to happen, but it happened. Let's set the camera up here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on, girls? Welcome back to another video here. Today, this is, I don't know why I'm even smiling, because it's really a flipping bummer. I believe my neighbor complained. We're gonna open this up, and I just wanna tell you guys, if you ever own a house, you know exactly what a code violation is. To the parents out there watching, you know what I'm talking about. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven code violations against me at this house right now. And starting September 1st, September 1st, which is not far, per violation per day is $1,000. But say the neighbor doesn't like the chicken coop, per day, 1000 buckaroos. So I wanna show you guys what they uh, violated me for, but I'll tell you that in a little bit. Let's go outside. Hang out with the animals for a little bit. Tell you what my game plan is because of this paper right here, and uh, then we'll go from there. This is gonna be interesting, though. I'm telling you, you want to stick around because it's it, it's it's a real bummer. To be honest, you never want to see one. Of, oh, I'm very pale. You never want to see one of those inside your mailbox. That's just the bottom line. Look at Lulu. Look at Lulu. <laughs> They are adorable. As you know, a couple months ago, I don't know, it was like two months ago, I got that fence surrounding my whole entire property. By the way, the property is all the way around here and all the way over to that side, all the way over there. There's a lot of land. I would say too much land, but you never really could have too much land, but it is too much land for me. Anyway, this fence needs to be permitted. So all this was a violation. Oh, the pig cage you're talking. The pig cage, yeah, is a violation, although, I could literally move the thing with my hand, meaning it's a false violation because clearly anything with foundation is really what needs permitting. That I can move easily, so that's gonna completely be whooshed away. Same thing with this. This does not need a permit whatsoever. As you can tell, it's completely movable. It's just a chicken coop I built. But the neighbors are just, they're just complaining about everything. This is the, I, I don't know what to say. Listen, I'm not here to complain. I'm just here to tell you guys why I have been so busy lately. I've been having to go to the coding office in Palm Beach County for the last three days straight, sitting there for hours with my mom. It's the most painful thing in the world. Not to be with my mom, but you know, to be around legal people. I just don't like it. So they literally complained about everything. My neighbors complained about this fence, the pig cage, the chicken coop. Larry, I mean, come on. They're complaining about your home, buddy. Yeah. Larry, are you happy about this? Yeah, he said no. What are the pigs doing? I'm trying to get to here is the barn is going to be delayed. I was supposed to get a barn back here. Just a simple little easy barn to keep these pigs in. Although this cage is completely fine for now, but I was going to get a barn. The barn is now going to be delayed. Could be months, could be weeks, could be days, I, I don't know. I was gonna put it right here. Now that this happened, I'm gonna have to really go through a lot, but really watch everything I do on this property. I went into the pig pen, look at them all, they all think I have food, but I went in here because it's raining. The best thing that could possibly happen here in this circumstance is every one of these violations get approved and I get permits for everything I need permits for. The worst thing that could happen is literally everything gets denied. I can end up keeping this pig cage out here, which I highly doubt, by the way. I'd have to fill in the pond in the front yard and all this stuff would literally be here for no reason. The fence is a no big deal. Like, I can guarantee get a permit for this fence anytime. I'm doing it right now as we speak. I think it's already done. So that's the best thing that could happen and the worst thing that could happen. Let's hope it goes this way towards the best thing that could happen. It is just crazy that I put this much work into something and then I get violations because a neighbor's complaining that there's structures that aren't supposed to be on a property on three acres in the middle of BFE. If you know what that means, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I live in the middle of nowhere. Who is complaining about that? It's a chicken coop. Larry lives in it. Bottom line is, I'm literally not here to complain. I'm just telling you guys what's going on in my real life. This is what's happening. Ow, golly. Why are you biting me, Pua? Now that you kind of know what's going on out here and why those papers were in the mail, let me head back inside so I can show you what uh, I got written up for, coding wise. One sec, gotta, gotta feed the pigs real quick. They see a fresh bag, they're just going crazy. There they are. They are. <laughs> they're loving it right now. They're eating away. Oh, the swans are trying to get food. I got you guys. All right. There you go, buddies. <laughs> no, I haven't named these guys yet. I'm just trying to get a group name for all the ducks I'm going to get. There you go, buddies. I'll get a little scoop of water here and there and pour it into the swan food 
It just moisturizes those food for them. Was that English? I don't know. I'm going in. My camera's getting soaked. Anyway, animals are fed. You got an idea on what's going on out there? Let's go read these papers. I just want to show you guys what the violations are. It's crazy. Stick with me here. Real, real quick, I'm going to go over these papers. Super, super quick. One, obtain required building permits for the chain link fence. The fence surrounding the whole entire property is what they're talking about, which... I respect that because I, I, I should have got the permits when I first built it. Obtain requirements for the permits for my camera system in my house. I already have those, fellas. Three, they were complaining about this right here that you're seeing right now. That is a pile of rock in the front of my house. Am I not allowed to have rock in the front of my house in three acres in the middle of you know I don't know. I guess not. Please provide the appropriate landscape maintenance. You're gonna try me like that. More specifically, please cut and maintain grass, weeds, and trees on the property. It looks pretty dang solid to me, if you ask me. We're pristine, we're good, we're good, we're good on that. Five, obtain required permits for the pond in the front yard. That one's gonna Because I'm gonna have to have someone that builds ponds, a contractor that builds ponds, fly out, come here, go to the coding building, and sign for me. Okay, next one. Six and seven are both obtain required building permits for cage slash structure or remove the cage slash structure, meaning the chicken coop and the cage slash structure that's out there, which is the pig cage. Well, now you saw it here first. I thought I'd just share some of that information with you guys. Um, since I got a lot of violations on the property, you know, hopefully they all just get solved. I mean, you just never, my mom made copies of that just to let you know, I'm just kidding. Anyway guys, I just thought I'd share that little quick uh, violation story with you. I am going to pick up the camera in the morning when it's a lot nicer out and I can show you guys more of a game plan on what's going on out there because I really do want you guys to understand what's gonna happen. Good morning, everyone. I just got the cutest video ever of Lulu taking a little bath in the morning. Every time they come out of the little pig pen, they love to take that U-turn and go right into the bath over there. This right here is their favorite spot to do a little U-turn out of the cage and come take a bath in the morning. As you see, this one's dirty. I gotta wash it out so they have clean water. Everything is eating right now. We got the pigs right here eating. The ducks and the swans are out there. Here's the video I got of Lulu taking a bath. That's on my TikTok, if you don't follow me there. Just got verified. Fact. What up, fishes? How you guys doing? Look how clear the water is. Air one is like a dragon. Any subscribers out there have some more ducks for me? I got a lot of land right here with a big pond, and I want some more ducks. I just gotta find some. Hey, we're here at Home Depot. I just thought I'd come and look at these little tiny like shed things, because I've been looking for barns. Barns are like something big that I want. But for the time being, to have something like this would really be cool. Look at the inside. This will obviously still need a permit on the property, of course, of course, everything. But listen, if I insulate, Nick, can you hold this open for me, man? If you insulate this, insulate this all, put a nice little AC unit in the corner, which I already have from them being in the garage and they had the babies. Look at this, I got choices to pick from too. Wow, barn shopping. <laughs> Nick? Nick? Can you help me out? Anyway, got some choices to pick from. I don't know. You guys let me know. Does this look cool? Basic price is 3600 Model price as shown is 4500 It ain't that bad. This thing's cool for that much money. It's even got windows on it, which is really cool. Look, it's got like hurricane, it looks like hurricane proof. Sliding glass windows with the screen so I can open it and the bugs can't get in. No more mosquito issues out there. Nice handle. You can lock it. It's huge. It's literally massive on the inside. Little vents up there. This thing is sick. There's the measurements. Um, I'm actually gonna look into this, for real. I think I'm gonna get this, right here. This this is something that's really, really cool. There's many different options I have to get it to. Like, it's not only that model right there. I really do like it. If you think the same, and you think this would be good for the animals, just drop a like down below. I wanna see how many people agree with my decision on getting this. Uh, it has a big inside, I can easily insulate it. I can easily put the air conditioner that I have in my garage right now, plug that in, put it in here and it would be nice cool AC in there for them at night I don't know what do you think I like that thing a lot Nick what do you think it's nice it's nice yeah. a little more emphasis maybe <laughs> it's nice nice yeah, yeah. That is all I got for you guys today. All the violations was, it's actually a serious thing. It could get pr pretty, it 
could be pretty bad. But you know, we like to stay positive on this channel, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Just stay positive. If you have yet to do so already and join the family, hit the subscribe button down below. Do just that, it's right down there, it's the little red subscribe button. Click it, and make sure after you click it to turn the bell on, which will notify you every time I do upload. Just click the bell. Today's positive comment shout out goes out to Donovan, this video was sick. Can't wait for tomorrow's upload, love the content. Yes, indeed, three days in a row. I will see you tomorrow again. I posted yesterday, I posted today, and I'm posting tomorrow. I'm trying to get as many videos out. If you guys are enjoying this everyday upload type thing, make sure you drop a like on this video so it shows that, that you guys do like it. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, I mean come. thank you all so much for watching. Um, that's sharing some real life stuff right there. That's violations on, a, on my house. That's. Never thought I'd make a video on that. Never thought that would actually even happen. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.